Hi, I'm Sage. And I'm Anna Blanca. Today we would love to tell you guys why we are absolutely crazy about glutathione. It is a powerful antioxidant, it plays a very crucial role in our immune system functions, and it protects us from environmental toxins. And for us living in Los Angeles, it's pretty good news. So, some people's first thought would be, let's just take glutathione as a supplement. If only it were so easy, but it doesn't really work so well that way. Glutathione gets really easily destroyed through the digestive process. So even if you're taking tons of supplemental glutathione, it's not gonna really give you so much benefit, even if it's in like a liposomal form, like some are, it's still challenging to get enough built up in the bloodstream where you would really see significant glutathione increases. So that means, yeah, it's a bummer, but we can take it in a different way, which is actually by taking in foods that are gonna increase your body's own natural glutathione production. So it's going one step back closer to nature and actually doing it through foods in a way that they're gonna support your own body's glutathione production. What foods are gonna do this? Well, one, for example, is sulfur-rich vegetables. So this is essentially the cruciferous family. So we're looking at kale, chard, broccoli, cauliflower, the list goes on and on. There's so many nice varieties. It's one of his favorite foods, so I think this is fantastic for us. <laughs> yeah, and then the next thing is methylation nutrients. So this means B vitamins. You can look at getting these in food. Uh, of course, spirulina, one of my favorite foods, another one of my favorite I'm foods. Being favorite. Yeah, a great source of B vitamins, but so many ways to get B vitamins in food. And then you're gonna also get into some other things that you're gonna tell us about. Oh yeah. If it's uh, okay with you and uh, you're okay with, in, with it in your diet, we would suggest that to add some grass-fed whey into your morning smoothies or even into fantastic ice creams that we have great recipes here for, and selenium. A good source of selenium is Brazil nuts, but it's, I think you would have to work very hard to find some very, very clean Brazil nuts to add it to your diet. Yeah, and also exercise. Uh, natural, good exercise is going to support your body's healthy glutathione production, which is really great. The other thing to keep in mind is things that are going to deplete your glutathione. So drinking is one thing that's really going to deplete your glutathione, so, so go easy on the alcohol. <laughs> what was that? Look at me. It's oh. all that chase tree berry extract you've been having. It's super alcoholic. <laughs> I guess there are some extracts that, that in, in alcohol, and when I take it, I'm so sensitive to it. He, he laughs that I get drunk on supplements. But the other thing to keep in mind is that chronic <laughs> low level stress is really going to deplete your glutathione. So you really want to watch out for that. Oh. We have a great video about stress reduction, so if you're interested in looking at it, here is the link right Up here, right above his head. So. <laughs> so nice to talk to you guys, and if you have any great stories or what you how you feel about uh, having added some glutathione to your diet, let us know. Well, not necessarily added glutathione, but added glutathione supporting right. foods and nutrients, right? Exactly, exactly what he said. Awesome! Thanks so much for joining us, guys, and I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.